Boom. Okay, this hangout on air is live. That means, hi, and welcome to Off the Shelf, the voice of Transformers Collectors Club Australia. This is episode 61. We are recording live on May 20th, 2016. Uh, we didn't do an episode last week for a number of reasons that we'll talk about soon. But um, I'm Jason. I'm I'm back. Uh, did I miss a week? I don't know. I think we all missed a week, so that's that's. I, I didn't actually miss a week. Uh, joining me tonight, we have Brad and Max. How are you doing, guys? Uh, evening. Yeah. I, I, don't, I, I didn't do a podcast for two weeks, and suddenly I'm, <laughs> suddenly I'm way out of practice, and I've got no idea what I'm doing. So yeah, um, you should. Yeah, be. You, are a, you are a two-time award-winning podcast host. I am. This is this is, this is uh, still, well. I'm, I'm a journalist. I, 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 I'm a journalist, but yes. Uh, so um, the, one of the reasons Please. there were two, there, there were two reasons why I was absent Please. last week. Please elaborate. What was this? <laughs> there are two reasons I was away last week. Number one is the IT Journalism Awards, which were held in Sydney on Friday night, at which my other thing that I do, uh, that when, when I'm not actually at work full time, which is Ausdroid, uh, we won the Best Independent Media Award for uh, our um, coverage of technology and Android and stuff like that, which... Uh, it's the second time in a row that we've won that. We um, we beat out a no- number of other Australian tech publications, and I'm really quite proud of it, actually. Um, nice golf done. clap. Thank you. Thank you for the golf clap. <laughs> so, that, so we regularly record the podcast on a Friday night, and so um, I couldn't do it on the Friday night, so we decided to try and do it Saturday night, and then something happened Saturday night. I don't know, but... Uh, the other thing that happened last weekend was Eurovision, so I kind of blame Eurovision for not being able to record the podcast because I was mostly drunk. Um, but yeah, I've Euro- never you've never following you just, you on out. Twitter. I've never Eurovision. You've never. You, do you oh, say you've never watched Twitter, Eurovision? I, I've never seen someone so excited for Eurovision. Oh hell, you should see the rest it's of the a, people I big. follow on Twitter. Yeah, it's a big thing. <laughs> You, you should have seen. So, this, you should have seen my living room at about 8 a.m. Sunday morning. My housemate, who does not watch Eurovision, uh, came out and joined me, and we were we were literally gobsmacked at the number of countries that were giving Australia 12 points. That's the top. That's the top <laughs> score. Like, there was li- there was literally a point. Actually, it wasn't a point. It was more like for like half an hour of the voting, we were actually in front. Australia was going to win Eurovision. Uh, and then they did some bullshit thing with the phone votes, and it, it was all it was all kind of rigged. But um, I, I anyway. Yeah. So yeah. So um, Eurovision was super fun last weekend. Um, winning an award was also super fun. And so yeah, I, I certainly didn't have time to do the podcast. And I think events yeah. transpired that kept Brad busy as well. And it's just one of those. It's just one of those weeks. It's a busy time, isn't it? Yes, I uh, <laughs> I left for Brisbane on Friday morning. I had no idea that you were o'clock. even coming through Sydney. I we weren't supposed to. We we're supposed to go out the guts up through Dubbo and go to Barabran to Gundawindi, but um, uh, instances happened, and a trailer went to Sydney with some parts in it that weren't supposed to. So we had to go past there and pick those bits up for a concert at um, Brisbane on the riverfront. Uh, it was uh, it was all right. We only spent fifteen minutes. Sitting beside the M7, waiting for the parts to get ran out to us. So that was all right. We didn't have to go into Botany to the depot, which would have been three or four hours on a Friday afternoon at two o'clock. Um, we then proceeded 15 hours from there up to <laughs> Brisbane. Got in at three o'clock in the morning, and I was back on a plane at eight o'clock in the morning back to home, and I was here back home at one o'clock <laughs> with about an hour and a half <laughs> sleep. So. <laughs> uh-huh. I, I was zomb- I was zombie prime on Saturday, so. The postponed podcast wasn't happening Saturday night. I was in bed at about six o'clock and didn't wake up until ten o'clock Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I was zombie prime, so <laughs> that is yeah, why that's... we were not on last week. Max, why weren't you on? What were you doing last weekend? <laughs> well, you know, like no the rest of us have had a go. <laughs> yeah, bugger all. <laughs> Oh, good no. chat. <laughs> good chat. Yeah, just pretty much. No, no, mostly just school and school work, and then work, work. So. Yeah, there's um, 
Uh, so I, I'm actually I'm actually like really tired tonight as well because um, in my real job um, I worked 14 hours yesterday, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's it's been a busy time. Um, yeah. yeah, we know we know you postponed today too. <laughs> yeah. I left for camera at three o'clock this morning, and I didn't get back until nine o'clock tonight. So, uh, big day. Without further ado, I think it's time we get into it. Um, yeah, yeah, Max. You, you had a um. Oh, you know, I've completely missed the club news, but that's okay. Let's just get straight into the news, shall we? The club news. Yeah, let's changed. do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. So, Max, you had you had this marked as one of your favourite posts of the week, but I think it's also legitimate news that we need to talk about. Uh. Titans return has hit Australia, um, and this, uh, Edmund Edmund Liu posted this picture from a, from a Maya. It looks like it's some kind of a stock cage that they take stock out onto the mm. onto the, the floor in. Um, yeah. Very least... similar, very similar to what Hayden posted last year with uh, Debbie in the stock cage. Yes. Yeah. I've also I've also just realised that I should probably switch to the uh, the screen that's showing what I'm talking about. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> Very good. You you are you're in I am rusty. I, I am rusty. I am rusty. I'm rusty. Uh, so you see, there's at least two Ford Maxes in that uh, thing, and I think they're mm. 369 bucks off uh, off from Maya. I believe we were actually just saying, Brad, you're selling these for 300 bucks a piece. I've got pre-orders. Uh, by the time yeah, by the time this podcast is out, it's going to be well and truly over. But... Oh, so yours is the Takara one, isn't it? Yes, Takara. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, okay. The pre-orders for it closed yesterday. We've um, we've got an extension for Takara for 20, uh, 24 hours, so that's why, unfortunately, just trying to work shipping out and everything else. Um, it's only been open for a sad day, but um, it's in, very interesting to see this in stores already. This isn't the only Titans return we've seen. Uh, Three legends as well. Yeah, the three um, legends yeah. as well. Really, in that that have been posted today as well. Um, one interesting thing was apparently Myers got twenty percent off or twenty five percent off this week end or Ooh. next week. I think someone in that same post has commented like it's Val, um, or someone's yeah someone's posted which would get it back down close to the the four hundred dollars as well, but. If you want Hasbro, yeah, it's, 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 it's close, but yeah, so fair enough. Anyway, it's out, it, it's out, or it's at least it's very close to the showroom floor. Um, yeah, screw you, rest of the world. <laughs> well, so we actually we actually got Devastator before the rest of the planet yeah. last year as well. Yeah. So I don't yeah, know, maybe, stop, maybe, maybe it's just that. that uh, <laughs> ah, whatever. You know, pe- people can people can have butt hurt if they want about Devastator releases, but whatever, you know. Um, fact of the matter is, we were first on the planet with it, so yeah. yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of people, a lot of people that profited from it on eBay, putting it, figures it up there. Totally and totally doesn't. It totally doesn't matter, and it's not relevant for this discussion. No. Fort Max is out, and uh, he's there. Go, go get him if you want him. Um, he is. A, it, it is worth remembering. I think, given the given the very high price of this guy at Maya, being that he's nearly four hundred bucks, he has a real. He has a retool of Metroplex. So like mm. you know the fact that you can pick up Metroplex fairly cheap at the moment really makes me think that they are kind of helping themselves. Either that or the three hundred and seventy dollar price might be wrong. Compare well, this to a similar price, which was the Age of Extinction Optimus Prime and trailer. Was around the, the same price. Was that the one that came with Sideswipe? Yeah. Yeah. That that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they go for like a yeah, hundred bucks now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I've I found that on clearance, so I guess the visage is going to be yeah, wait so, ages, and <laughs> you know you get them cheap. So this is this is the thing, right? Like, do you do you wait on the assumption that the price is going to go down, or you know you are going to have the chance that you will miss out if you wait? That's exactly right. Although I will say that no one appeared to miss out on Metroplex. He can still be had if you need him. And no one's, no one's missed out on Devastator either. He can still be had if you need him as well. And some people have shown uh, stores that have gone down to $100 mm-hmm. or $110 or whatever it is. So I think it's just, I did, I, it comes down to the location. Yeah, I, I think the hundred dollar Devastator was actually damaged, a damaged box, so oh, they couldn't okay, really sell it for full price. But yeah, yeah, uh, yep. 
Um, I do. I have seen it. I think at 150 or something. But yeah. yeah. So um, Titan's return is here. I think it's about time we uh, time time we perhaps move on. Yeah. Um, to the next bit of more Titan's time. return. I'm clearly <laughs> pressing the wrong button. So more Titan's return, um, <laughs> which is basically just a look at the um, a look at the uh, just well. So the, so there's a look at a look at Fort Max. Yeah, and that's a buy. That's a buy for me. I'm definitely going for it. I've put a pre-order for my own pre-orders. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. You for going hard. He does look pretty good. Does, I can't yep. can't lie. He does look pretty good. So these are these are actual toy photos of um the of the Titans Return line, and they're not um yep. they're not CG renders. So there's Galvatron. Um, mm. This is this is pretty much everything that's been released and announced that we've got photos for in the one. The one album, so yeah, yeah, and like a lot, of, a lot of mini, ma- ma- mini masters, the micro master stuff's gonna be fun. So, like, why is um, um, why is Fort Max's head on Nightbeat's box? It's on all their boxes. I'm pretty sure. A, yeah, oh, it's on all yeah. the um, uh, yeah, it's on all the Legends box. I mean, yeah, t- uh, Titan Master boxes at least. Because yeah. he's the city, so he's the uh, he's the one thing that brings them all together. That looks crap, <laughs> but still, <laughs> crash bash. Many. So I, I, I gotta say, I, I'm not really liking the, um, I'm not really liking the gimmicks that go with these guys. Um, let me just. Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Mm, my... <laughs> <laughs> I'm. Just, I, I was just trying. I was just trying to find the, uh, the ability to page up, um, quickly, on here. But that's okay. Um, yeah. No, I'm not liking the, uh, the vehicles. Mm. These guys are like they—they they just look—they look like they're there to justify you buying a um a headmaster. They're there to justify the 995 price tag. Mm-hmm. <laughs> instead, they are. instead of five, like that. What? What is that? That's what. <laughs> <laughs> actually, that one, car. That, that one I think is actually like the the only one that really makes sense. <laughs> it's nice <laughs> so, so here's stripes. Stripes is one of the is one of the figures currently available at retail. So is rewind, and uh, we haven't seen what happened to Ravage. Yeah. yeah. What, what 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 have they what have they done to Ravage? I think Poor we talked. Ravage. I think we we talked about this we talked about this last week and we have. the week before. And yeah. I don't think it actually find, I don't think it actually fully struck me that Ravage is now a plane. Um, until I've seen <laughs> Why does it come in plane time. mode? <laughs> Oh, that's yeah. purely for packaging, I think. But yeah. Yeah. Um, and there's Frenzy looks Rumble. good. Frenzy looks good. Very nice. Very nice. Rumble helps that he's got the um. Helps that uh, Rumble's Frenzy. got the Frenzy. Really stuck. <laughs> <laughs> if it says, did, did you did you did you not did you not notice what Brad was doing with that? <laughs> yes, I noticed. I'm just uh. trying to suspend my disbelief. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Uh, all right, Wheelie, Wheelie, a bit of new Shockwave. I reckon everyone was after Shockwave from Commander Wars. I reckon Wheelie be that next one. Mm. Laser Beak, there's blur. Um, a lot, of, a lot of detail there. It's not highlighted. Sk- yeah. So Skull, Skull Crusher is now Skull Smasher. Mm. Don't mm. really care. <laughs> But, uh, so, there's, there's, there's a lot of people who are really interested in that figure. I don't necessarily get why. But, yeah. I'll, I'll be I'd, more interested I'd... in the prime colour just for that one-off episode. But Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think yeah. I'd be it's a lot more interested scared. in Skull Smasher if yeah. his tail didn't detach. Yeah. So uh, I've I, I got to say, I think it's interesting that... Um, I, I think it's interesting what they've done... Yeah, because I mean, this is basically like you know they're returning to a lot of the G1 figures and mm-hmm. uh, a lot of their designs. Are, I think it's interesting that um, they haven't waited for some kind of a cataclysmic event or something to introduce uh, you know Cyclonus and Scourge and Galvatron. They're just like fuck it, you can have the figures. There you go. Yeah. Yep. All the sweeps. <laughs> no, no, no one. No one needs a story for it. It's cool. <laughs> uh, so there's Highbrow. Uh, there's Chrome Dome. Okay, so. Yeah. Kind of like Chrome Dome. I'll see how I go. I'm not. Yeah, I'll I'm, see, I'm not I'll see him on the shelf. Nah, it's all going to be what looks good on the shelf for me. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's, it's pick up, pick them up when they're on sale. Yeah, Blast is a micro base, micro, micro bots base for me. 
minicon I dice, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand why Blaster is leader class. He's not a leader. The, the the whole the whole class name anything for Transformers is terrible. I think I'm so distressed by this. I think we should move on. Yeah, and something yeah. going to lead into the movie too. So <laughs> yeah, let's move, <laughs> let's move on. Let's move on to the next uh, next week. So uh, we're done with we're done with Hasbro for a while. Um, we're going to move on to Takara. It's been a bit of masterpiece news in the last couple of weeks. Um, we first heard rumors that uh, that someone had mentioned masterpiece uh, a ma- masterpiece cheat war. Uh, and they were banished yeah. to the far reaches of the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Say cheat or of anything. What? The what person that mentioned. <laughs> someone said, "Oh, I bet the next one's cheat or." No, like, no, of course not. Well, egg on you, um, because <laughs> the next masterpiece <laughs> appears to be cheat or. <laughs> Um, so yeah, interesting. He'll be coming out soon. There's some thought that he could also be repainted uh, rather easily into another figure as well. But uh, since I'm Tiger, not a Beast Wars Tigertron. aficionado, I'm going to leave that to Brad. To Brad, to yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah there, Tigertron. There's your uh, there's your figure plus repaint. So um, so yeah, uh, we only have a silhouette. We know he'll be out later in the year, and um, yeah, we'll move on. Mm, there's been some uh, controversy. It's taking another MP number, blah, blah, blah. Um, one interesting thing with that is it has a badger saying Beast Wars 02. So I'm hoping those Beast Wars figures after Primal that come out, they're going to match the generations in the... Um, it's not Legends, it's whatever the Takara versions are. So hopefully they release the Beast Wars figures on their own line. Where did it say and, that? Oh, yeah. Are you about this? Yeah, that's the square box... Oh. Top. Brad, Brad, that's um, isn't that's that 20th 20, 20, is 20th anniversary of Beast Wars? That's Beast Wars 2 0. <laughs> Let's move on. Here's yeah, Inferno. Cheetor. Let's talk it's about the... Inferno. <laughs> G1. Uh, this worries me. I don't even pronounce it. G1. Mm. G, G Wine. It, okay. G double E W A. What? Wait, what? G1 spelled G double E W U N. Where are you reading that? No, that's. Oh, have, you, have you not heard of that? I've got no oh, idea. What's G, yeah, G1, huh? Yeah. G, G yeah. We. <laughs> Inferno. Can we talk about Inferno? <laughs> yeah. It, it worries it's me. Sadly, it's, G1. Yeah, it's very cartoon where we've had this shift. We are going full uh, steam in card and accuracy. A couple well, so of figures. We, like we we are and we're not. Like so, if you have if you have a look at like you know he's got windscreen wipers and stuff. So there's still this little bit of realism mm. going on for for the vehicle modes. But other than that, like I'm more than happy for it to be a uh, a G1 style. Uh, uh, sorry, a cartoon style figure. I think it's good because that's that that style of figure is what everyone remembers from the cartoons. I've had this argument with someone during the week. If you want the most accurate movie figure from Age of Extinction, on screen, bot mode, it's the Age of Extinction Leader Prime. To, for him to transform, he has a lot of shell on his back to become that alt mode, just to keep that screen character design 100%. <laughs> I I, I fear. I, I, I have no idea where you're going. I just I just fear with all the streamlined um, legs and everything. There's a lot of lot of stuff there that has to be hidden by panels. I'm 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 cautious. I don't think it really matters if he's going to be a shell former of sorts. It will be have some place to go. Yeah. Like the, the issue is, 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 is that what you're talking about? Also, notice the cartoon model doesn't have a ladder on his back. There's no ladder hanging down between those legs. I also don't see a ladder on this one, actually. Yeah, yeah. there's no ladder there. So I don't know what what's going to happen. Hopefully it's folded up on the back. Yeah, I'm, I'm still 100% on the Make Toys Inferno. That's where my Inferno was. Hellfire, that's where my... Masterpiece Inferno is going at this stage. 
Um, okay. We haven't seen alt. We haven't seen the alt mode. Um, that may sway, but it's doubtful at the moment. I do not like yeah, this one bit. Yeah, I mean, really, no, not one bit. Really, that's pretty strong. I've got, I got too many. I've got too many master. I've got too many masterpiece figures on my shelf that are um, toy accurate, not cartoon accurate. That's I think that's the biggest thing. If I'm going to start a second shelf, redo a prime with no detail, and start a a cartoon masterpiece I got, shelf. I, 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 got, I got no idea how that relates to whether or not this looks like a good figure. I think he looks great. As a cartoon yeah, you... figure. I, I, I don't care. I just think I, I think look at the figure. It looks good. It's gonna be it's gonna be a fairly big masterpiece actually by the looks of it as well. It should be, um, yeah. yeah. Well, I, he I think Inferno stood a bit taller than Ironhide and Ironhide was about the same height as Shockwave. Yeah, mm. he should so, he should be he should be on par with Ironhide at least. Yeah. So there is Hopefully something I quite like about this. Hmm. There's something I quite like about this, and that is the massive chunky feet, which is actually more to me. It, it calls to mind more of uh, pretty much any bot that's made by Make Toys. But um, yeah, no, I I really like the feet. Maybe um maybe Takara's uh, brought in some new designers. <laughs> yeah, no, he's got a, he's got a big base to stand on. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He, he definitely does. If yeah, they want to, if oh. they want, if they want to win at this. Those two little nubs on his chest, the flashing lights, need to they need to be light, either light piped or have a battery. Put some electronics all right, in all it. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> We're moving on. That's it. Beetle, I'm beetle. Yeah. Uh, okay. So what do we got here? We got uh, Unite Warriors Bruticus. Uh, we got some some close up images of, of this guy. That paint job is looking pretty damn nice. Uh, my negative Nancy Only issue. is continuing. I Brad, don't. Brad, Brad's middle name is negative Nancy this week. Yeah. Go on. I, I have this on <laughs> pre-order. The more I see it, the more I want to cancel that pre-order. I've um, never wanted this version. I've always wanted the G2 Fruticus. Oh, that's yeah, that's a given. But that, that looks that, beautiful. Yeah, I just I've been slowly getting the Hasbro bots to complete him. Um, I just need Brawl and Vortex now to complete it, and I think that's going to do. I can wait for Blast Off for this one. I don't. I'm just. I just don't like all that that orange. It doesn't say G1 Bruticus to me. Yeah, actually, that, well, that's quite true. But um, hmm. I think the um, the very really brown chest isn't help isn't doing him any favors. I will, I will also just point out, if you do want a G1 Bruticus, um, there are plenty on eBay. Yeah. Yeah, true. So, then I might have a, um, I might have a Takara Bruticus up for sale soon. Well, I'm still on that for another month and a half, so... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just not digging the colours, that, that orange. There's too much of that orange. Max, what do you think? Uh, I think, on the whole, it's better than the Hasbro Bruticus. There's a few little issues. Um, mostly, I'd say the brown, the brown on the chest doesn't do. It's just not doing anything good for him. And uh, is it brown or orange? Like, uh, do you do you mean oh, the colour outside of that? Do you do you, yeah. do you mean the, the colour outside of the obvious bright orange? Because that to me that looks more like a darker darker grey. It's the same as um, vortex. It's sort of vortex and blast off meet in the middle, and form the shield. Yeah. Like half mm-hmm. half a set half a set blast off orange and the other half set vortex dark grey. Which yeah, we've okay. of, of, of of sort of. Um, Brad, can you complimented... stop that, please? You're making me like it. No, <laughs> I've complimented Victoria on having a unified colour scheme, but yeah, I just don't. Yeah, the orange and that. Dark color, I don't like. Yeah. If you had a silver think, shield on the chest, I'd be keen. <laughs> I, d- I don't think you could accuse this of having a unified color scheme. To- top, 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 top. <laughs> well, no, so, okay, so here's, here's, here's the question. Here, here's, here's a question. Um, just to just to make things a little bit more interesting. Um, on the photograph that is currently on screen, 
on the left, very far left, you can see some someone looking in on the, on the <laughs> I think he's feeling the same Cap as well. Ca 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 <laughs> caption contest time. What is what is he what is going through his mind? There's some dismay there. <laughs> <laughs> just looks ab absolutely. Yeah. I think that's a reflection of a guy taking a photo. <gasps> oh. So he's just yeah, it could be right. The other thing I think he's is so horrified about this, what he's seeing. The other thing I think is interesting about this is how Bruticus only just fits in the display case as well. If you look up the top, he's hunched. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they've had to put his legs, they had to put his legs apart a little bit to uh, to fit him mm. into fit him into, into the whatever I'm talking about. Um, let's move on. Yeah, it's third party this time. This was big news last week. <laughs> it's it's third party time, and it, when it rains, it pours. Um, so we have at least two blitz wings on the way at the moment. Mm. It's the uh, the uh, KFC Ditka. Um, yeah. K KFC's did care. What's the other? What's the other one? It's um, DX9 Gewalt. This this guy DX9 9 Gewalt. So um, we've got coloured images of Gewalt. Um, he's actually doing the rounds now for, with a couple of reviewers. I've seen um, Maz at TF Square One posted a posted a picture of him arriving in wrapped in bubble wrap the other day. Um, he's looking he's looking all right actually. But the um, the we had one member, of, uh, we had member, member during the week who uh, got his hands on him too and had a fiddle. But um, really, who got who got their hands on? Who got uh, hands on? Uh, I do not recall now. Someone in Melbourne had a play off it last <laughs> week and was showing photos. Nice. Yeah. Cool. I, I, so I've been very I've been very distracted by work this week, so I've not been keeping up with what's going on in the group. So yeah. uh, Ditka. Um, He's definitely he's definitely got those um, those KFC spindly hand things going, hasn't he? Mm. Having having a KFC figure already, um, I'm sort of got. I'll I assume I'll have an idea of what the build quality is going to be like. That sword doesn't interest me at all, but. Um, oh. How about that one? <laughs> so, yeah. so, looking at, so looking at the uh, the DS9 Gewalt now, which yeah, I don't need the sword. Really but... Transparent sword. Yeah, yeah. yeah the phase and colours works really. It's a lot better on a um, Gewalt. But we haven't we seen. There's no the photos. There's no Ditka in um, colour photos, which is hard. They're both. When you look at them, they're both a flat jet. Um, Actually, so I, I was having a. <laughs> I was having a <laughs> what? Go down. At the animated call, I, I put it in favour of this one. Up. Oh. This one? Up. Oh. No, up. Oh, go oh. next one. The heads. animated faces? Yeah, the animated heads. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. cool, actually. Yeah. Nice, it it, nice it doesn't look anything like animated Blitzwing, but just the fact they've done that. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 I do. I, I do love animated Blitzwing. I was just going to yeah. say, um, I was uh, I, I caught a bit of chatter over the jet mode, and it was actually it was actually like the jet mode on the G1 toy was also fairly flat. Apparently, yeah. quite apparently quite faithful to the actual jet that it's emulating. Um, it's a, it's actually it's actually fairly close. There's a bit of difference around the um, around the uh, the tail fins. But um, yeah, yeah, the, yeah the, apparently, apparently this is the case with um, both of them, really. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. That one's look, really they, flat. That's yeah. Look, they man they managed yeah. to yeah. three together. Maxibon Blitzwing. <laughs> yeah, it's just, looks like yeah. a title. We got the title. We got the title for the show. Oh, yeah, I, got, I got I got a question for you. Has that photo? Has this been photoshopped and altered altered the scale because? The robot that mode tank. is tiny, but even look at the size of the tank compared to the jet. Yeah, like that jet yeah, does not fold know. up that much. And there's no way. I, I actually, I think I prefer the jet mode on um, on uh, KFC actually. Yeah, yeah, that. I think and KFC is tank, tank mode's got... winning in the old mode department. Yeah, tank. Yeah, he's got he's he's doing pretty well in the uh, old, the old mode as well. It's a big looking tank. tank. It's a big. It's yeah, not it's just a little Sherman. It's a, 
and the fact you got the MP10 figures sitting in there, it's just it just shows off how big it is. Okay, that's a bit ugly, but I think that looks fine. That's a jet frosted tank. Uh, little at least, right. do we know well, at least his head isn't poking out the front? That's some mis- oh, transformations. Well. <laughs> yeah, but even when it's properly transformed, it's just you can st- if you look at it it's bent, from a front. Yeah, it's been it's been You can still see it. Um, yeah. Now, Maxibon. from this angle, from this angle, the jet looks pretty good. It's a Maxibon. <laughs> I like Maxibons. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. Let, yeah, let's move I, on. I can't, I can't pick one or the other at the moment. Wait until they get some color out for the KFC one. Mm-hmm. Um, All right, I'm so uh, oh, oh, yes. yes, these aren't working. These, I can't, I can't make <laughs> these. I can't, I can't embiggen. That's all right. That's all right. I have a presence. Let's try. Let's try refreshing it and see what happens. Um, Ooh, nah. Nah, nah, no idea what's going on. I, I reckon you the just page gotta is scroll. Or something. You just gotta scroll way down. We've been shared. You know what? I don't care. Um, they're the last two. They're, la- they're the last two toy world figures. When are you getting yours, Brad? Uh, the arms are arriving this week. Apparently, and the next two, they're they're at retails and they're being distributed, white supplies and being distributed. So, within a fortnight, four okay, sets of cool. four four sets of limbs are incoming. It's <laughs> <laughs> four hundred and sixty dollars. Uh, Christ, I can't wait. <laughs> All right, let's 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 move on. Yeah, can't um, wait. So this this caused a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a kerfuffle. In the in the in the group this week, Toy World has uh, announced that they they're bringing out a masterpiece inspired uh, or a masterpiece sized, let's say, cup figure, mm. and uh, and you can see you can see him on screen at the moment now. So I, um, many, so many this week and last week were commenting how much they wanted a Springer RC and cup in masterpiece, mm. and all of a sudden this thing lands. I, I don't think this is what they wanted. No. Yeah, it's just out of left left field. Dude. I don't know what so, the hell's so going on. To, we'll, we'll get to two, uh, one of the other Toy World releases this week or announcements, but it's just it fits in with the Prime they've announced. Um, yeah, no. See, this is the thing, right? Super, he, super he fit, detailed. He fits in with a lot of those a lot of those um, figures from a lot of the third party companies, especially yeah. like Toy World. It's just he doesn't he won't stand he won't fit on my masterpiece shelf. No, no, and that's that's the thing. A couple of weeks ago when we talked about the Toy World Prime, it's a good looking Prime, but it does, it, it's on its own shelf. This yeah. is on that shelf. Um, there's some other really highly detailed masterpiece size. But not masterpiece designed figures that would go on that shelf as well. Um, we're going to see the seekers in a minute, but that's just yeah. At least yeah. now they got the feet pointing the right way. But I, I, so so I got to say right, like I don't. So there's a couple of things that I like and a couple of things I don't like about this figure. One, he's actually really well articulated. Like look look at the pose that's being struck on this, mm. and he looks very stable. I reckon he could, he he could do ground pound. I reckon. Easy, uh, maybe. Uh, Grand pound, yeah. Grand pound is not really a, not really a thing that we should be encouraging. Um, <laughs> is, but, uh, what what I what I don't like is that his feet are tiny. Like mm-hmm. his feet, his feet are legitimately tiny. His legs are quite spindly. Now, there's there's been a lot of comparisons drawn between this figure and IDW's representation of Cup, and I feel like you can totally see the IDW styling. In this figure, or at least not necessarily the styles, because I think IDW's cup it has a lot of sort of a more round chest. Um, this is That's a very, very, very blocky chest, but he does have like the the, the tires inside the legs and stuff like that. What, what were you going to say, Max? That's the thing. It's you know you're saying he looks really articulated, but it co- it com- comes at the cost of him being really spindly and blocky, whereas cup in almost every incarnation. Has been this really uh, rounded off character. Yeah, it's much more humanoid. Yeah, whereas this is still definitely a cup. It just doesn't look like any version of cup we'd previously gotten. I'm going yeah. to uh, I'm going to pinch the screen share here. 
this is. I don't know. Ah, can you see that? Mm hmm. The DX9 cup, which is a legend scale. Blow that thing up. Blow it up to masterpiece guys, the size. Add the detail. Oh, you know, I don't think you actually want to do that. Yeah. Like, le le legend, legends figures have a certain degree of engineering in them for certain for certain reasons, but when you blow that up, um, you can't necessarily get away with that. That would yeah. be a very, very chunky figure blowing up. Yeah, because I know yeah, the just... um the tyrant, the tyrant they shrunk down to legend size and was good. Yeah. And then they done not, a, they done a masterpiece. Right yeah. I got I got the Legends Tyrant right here. We pulled him out and had a look at him a couple of weeks ago. Not that great. Not so great. No. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, let's get let's get back right, into back it. Back to you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so this yeah, is a no for me. It's a, it's a no for me as well. Um, because it's it's gonna be it's gonna be mega bucks, and I'm not really loving the figure. What 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 about you, Max? Uh, it's a no for me, but it's a good looking no. Because I don't it's... think I don't think they could be mega bucks. When you when you look at the Devastators, the limbs like they're big bots and they're only about 130 bucks each. So this might be 120, 130 if that. I, I think it's I think it's funny that's, that's, that we've that's... gone from. Um... I think it's funny that, I think, yeah, it's funny that we've gone from a uh, hundred dollars for a limb for a combiner to only a hundred and thirty dollars. But then when you look at Chugger and all those the triple changes, or even uh, any of the other ones being up around 170, 180. Sure. Um, yeah. yeah. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what pre-orders go up for. I don't think any uh, local blokes have got it up yet. Um, no, I think it was it was only announced this afternoon, really. Or was it yeah. yesterday? Or something? Yesterday, yeah. Yeah, but a yeah. lot of people are saying these they love his cigar, so maybe they'll they'll try and buy the head from somewhere in Japan, <laughs> China. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even. Okay, whatever. Um, okay, let, let's move on. Toy World. To, continuing the theme of Toy World of Palooza, uh, yeah. we have unofficial thrust and dirge toys announced by Toy World. Again. Now, super detailed. I, I, would, I wouldn't say they're, I wouldn't say they're super detailed because you know a lot of that detail will get lost when it gets painted. Yeah, but, true. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. There's just something. I I think that the um I think we've looked at these photos before actually. Yeah, I don't these know are, what these, these ones are for. These all look very familiar. Yeah, um, they, it's just the um, it's just the three of them standing beside Prime. What's the new photo? These are all redos of. Yeah. Yeah, that that's it. That's that's the only new photo we got. Um, so you say you say you say three of them. I'm not. Oh uh, yeah, fair enough. I was going to say those. I'm not actually sure that these aren't computer renders. Because if if you look no, at the um, no, if you if you if you look so like for one, I reckon the shadows are all fake. But also think, um, also think that uh, the 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 feet are in two two um, two similar poses. I, I don't know. Maybe. Mm. The, well, they're all identical. No, they're not. They're not. You can see the difference no, no, in like, the wings and the open. Yeah, yeah, no, the like identical feet, um, legs are identical, and that's my biggest complaint at the moment. Apart from those. Itty bitty little bits of wing. Mm -hmm. There's nothing different. Well, I mean, like they're seekers. But so. But it's 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 all compact. Like um, <clears throat> thrust. Look how small his wings are and how he's okay. His ankle ankle rear fins are a bit big, but um, ramjet. Ramjet should have big, big fin, big wings. I actually and wonder yeah. if it's yeah. actually a. I wonder if the wings have actually slid back onto the back somehow, so we're not only we're not actually seeing the full extent of the wing. Because the, the uh, if you scroll the, down, Ram, Ramjet does have bigger wings, but they're still not quite like so. They're definitely yeah, folded yeah. up in that first picture, but yeah. they're still but even even his, don't quite even his arm bomb, like he should have big bombs on his arm, like the fuel tanks that the G1 figure had, and he's got <laughs> the seed from Age of Extinction. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, <laughs> yeah, yeah so, I don't know. So let, 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 let's talk about this. Like, this, this leaves me cold for a reason that I can't quite put my finger on, but I also can put my finger on, right? Now, I've been, I've been saying this to a few people during the week. Like, to me, this doesn't feel like a genuine attempt to plug a gap in someone's collection. This feels like someone actually just going, right, you know what? Um, screw the fact that these, some of these figures already exist. We're going to go out there with our own series. That was, that was an interesting noise. Um, <laughs> Thirsty. <laughs> We're going to go out and go out with our own series now. Like masterpiece seekers are two hundred bucks easy. Um, most most of them are two hundred or two hundred or above. The the Takara ones anyway. Third party figures are always more expensive than the official figures. So to me, this feels a bit more like a cash grab than it is a genuine attempt to actually um, you know get these figures out there. I, I, I don't know. I just so I, 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 I'm actually a genu- I'm actually very much a cynical person, and so like when I see this, I'm just sort of like, why does this need to exist? Why don't you Why don't you go make figures that you know aren't already masterpieces? Go make an RC. See, that's go make a Springer. That's what I, I think these are supposed to be masterpieces, but not to fit in with exactly the same aesthetic as I already have, which is sort mm. of what I reckon third party should be. It's not a you know, it shouldn't have to be about uh, basically just filling the gaps in collections that people have, which, you know, and adhering to the exact same aesthetic. It's like taking, you know, um, the designer taking their own individual interpretation of the character. Mm. Yeah, I, well, I, think, I think that's fair, but we know that a lot of people masterpieces. Like, you put, you put these next to that, um, that prime they're doing from a couple of weeks ago, and that would fit in perfectly. Yeah, exactly, because it's a different mm. aesthetic to a normal masterpieces. Yeah. yeah. And it's only going to get worse if master uh, the now-running masterpiece start heading more and more into the cartoon accuracy and not anything else. Um, detailed stuff like this, like Prime, they could easily redo, they could do Prime MP10 2.0 right now. You'd lose all that all that detail in the fires, all the detail in the legs, you'd lose all the other detail and just have a movie accurate prime. There'd be no fuel tanks on it, no wheels on the legs, nothing. Hmm. Hmm. And it's it's a it's a, I it's a dark I road. I reckon I reckon by MP needs to be there. I reckon by MP40 we're gonna have a new prime. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, Granted, that, a lot of that detail is on prime. the original toy. We'll have we'll have a new we'll have a new prime by MP40. I'm putting that down now, and it'll be a cartoon accurate because that's the way they're going. I I, I um, don't really I don't know I I don't care really. Yeah, <laughs> but but yeah, I I when when um when Ramjet come out, I was. Expecting over 250, but because they the way they're engineering, the way they're reusing exactly the same thing, just some slight differences in wings. Um, I reckon those would be about 149, 150. These are these guys, 150. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Toy, you're, toy you're, World is Toy World's doing what no one else is doing. No, Toy World is doing what no one else is doing. They are releasing figures at a lower price. No, they're not. Your your devastator yeah. things were one hundred and thirty dollars. <laughs> because I got to buy six of them. If I just brought no, one no, of them, that, it'd be one hundred and thirty. <laughs> that's exactly what I just said. They're one hundred and thirty dollars for a, a single <laughs> limb, which is what is it? Is it actually a masterpiece scale limb? Shit, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I, I honestly I don't see it because the seekers genuinely their prices are up higher. So I, yeah. I don't know. I don't see it. We shall. Yeah, that's right. why. Yeah. Yeah. Seeker mold isn't even. I wouldn't rank that as one of the best MP molds, but for no. some reason they've oh, got no. that as one of the most expensive. I can't it's pick one, my like, star yeah, scream true. up without it falling in pieces or transforming in my hand. Trying to anyway. It's yeah. Mm, yeah, let's talk. Let's, let's talk about another figure. Let's talk about another figure that might end up being uh, being slightly controversial. We've got well. some. No, we've got a new no. some new pictures of Generation Toys no. Jazz. 
Um, now, this came, this came out last week actually, so we've had a sort of a good week to uh, a good week to dissect it. There. So, uh, first first point, he apparently now levitates. Um, <laughs> not really. I'm not really sure how they did this. <laughs> that's um, some good. There's some mission line there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he just flew up in the air. Took a photo. So, uh, so this is, um, uh, yeah. So this is this is Generation Toys Jazz. Now we we don't have a masterpiece uh, a masterpiece Jazz at all. Um, mm. People seem to, all the third parties who are so busy doing their own version of Devastator and their own version of all of these figures that already exist seem to have forgotten Jazz. Um, so spoiler yeah. spoiler it's warning just... for next week. Spoiler warning for next week's show. Um, the twenty seventh of uh, May last year is when we first seen prototypes for the other G one version from Transform and Roll Out. Here we are a year later, yeah. and still no. <laughs> so <laughs> this is how long these two jazzes are in have been in production for. Like it's taking its time to get out. They I always guess the thing take. with always... the thing with MP Jazz is that everyone's always so tempted to do it. Uh, at least I reckon. Because everyone just assumes that it's going to be right around the corner from Takara, yet somehow they've ma- that mm. Takara's managed to completely avoid Do doing it. it. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Do it. Just get it out there. Do it. Do it. Because so, <laughs> so, they can repaint him. Can, can they? Who can I get a dress? Ricochet, I guess. Yeah, there'd, yeah, there'd be a Diaclone version. Yeah. Uh, let's talk. Let's talk about Generation Toys Jazz. Uh, what do you, mm. What do you guys think of this figure? He's. I feel like he's departed a little from his G one look. Um, yeah, definitely. It, 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 probably, looks... probably, it probably needs to be painted a little bit more. Um, yeah. It looks a lot less like an MP Jazz, more of an IDW Jazz. I was going to say Generations, but yeah. Uh, do, does he actually look masterpiece scale? He, he no does look that size big. Comparison. Yeah, he needs to be standing next to an Ironhide or a, a Datsun, um, next to Prow or something, just to get that size. So, so have... T- TFW did actually point out that, um, judging by the screw holes and the articulated fingers, um, he might he might actually be a masterpiece scale. So fair enough. Um, you can get a bit of a bit more of a look at that. I'm not actually sure that those fingers are as articulated as they think. I think it's one all one piece. There's no index finger, and that thumb yeah. is sealed. There's no. Yeah, it's just going to be your standard MP car fingers. Yeah, true, but there's true. no articulated I, thumb. Oh, I will. I will give them that on the screw holes actually, though, because the screw holes they they are quite small. So yeah, I reckon mm. yeah, maybe he is must be scaled. Um. Yeah. I love that alt mode. And just just having the updated Carrera just. It's it's jazz, but it's not. It's I do like it. Um, he looks so he looks vinyl tech uh, to yeah. me because because the the sort of the hollow the hollow chest and just sort of the um you know what what what's going on underneath. In fact, oh you know what I you know what I just noticed about this shot. You the can actually see on the shoulders. No, you can see straight through this guy. <laughs> oh, what is that? Is it? Yeah, you can see straight through him. Is that? Wow, what is that? I can't. He's back. It's well, that's, it's that's trick photography. Oh, no, that's the car roof on the back. Like the, it's the windscreen. Scroll, and stuff. scroll back down the car. Has it got a sunroof? No. Go down. Go down the car. Nah. No. Nah. How's so? No, but that's that's quite normal because the uh, the 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 piece of the bonnet um, sits around the head. So like. <laughs> There's the rest of the bonnet there, but you can see the roof extends oh. down, extends down the back. But look, if you can see my mouse pointer, look, yeah. look at this yeah. right here. You can see straight through him. Oh wow! Mm. Did I say generations prowess? That... Oh, I meant one step, one step jazz. <laughs> wow! I, are, you, I actually, are you sure that's I not actually... just the windscreen? No, it's so, so the you roof. Can, you can... You can see the roof and stuff down here, but like in inside, the wind- you can see right through his hip, or right through yeah. right through the side of his chest. The windscreen folds down, yeah. so at the back of his hips, you can see the tab, but at his fist there, where the windscreen mm-hmm. tabs in, that's his windscreen's on his back. 
Wow. So there are there are a couple of things that I do quite appreciate about this actually. Like I like the little details, like the translucent plastic mm. on his knees and stuff. That, yeah. That's really quite nice. And yeah, overall, I actually like the blue quite a lot. Mm. Um, actually, I, I'm just trying to think. Like some of the some of the car, uh, the cartoons, because I think Jan, so Jazz's head is black in the cartoon. I think in some of the old Marvel comics, his head was blue. And like I, I, I sort wonder of wonder if, if there's a Bit of a homage there in his uh, in his blue blue head on here. Is this final paint, final color? No, it can't be because the the, the, yeah. the colors aren't on the car mode. Anyway, let's. I'm let's, wondering. Let's... I wonder if that head's going to go black eventually. We'll see. No, if it was going to go another black, six they, months. <laughs> if it was going to go black, they could have done it black already. Yeah, let's, true. Let, let's move on. Um, we've got a couple more stories before we finish up. Uh, Unique Toys <laughs> is back. Ooh, Unique, yeah. Toys, Unique, Unique Toys is back with a version of Sandstorm. Um, now, oh. so I've, 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 got Unique, swords. I've got Unique Toys provide. <laughs> that's the oh, long story. Yeah, look, look so the, the swords are. Oh, dear. That's the, the best we get. <laughs> that's the best we get. <laughs> No one really seems very happy with this figure. Um, wow. So, so, so Unique, Unique Toys managed to actually managed to quite impress people with uh, Provider, their their, master, their sort of take on a masterpiece in, inspired Octane, and I I don't think they've really uh, I don't think they've followed up that with a you know a, a great looking figure just, in their sense. Just with Provider, you, you've got him, you, or you still got him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, um, just like the the plastic quality, how it's engineered, transformation. That's all. He's great. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's great. He's lovely. Yeah. Yep. So the thing the thing that gets me about this is that bet- so between Provider and Sandstorm or Sorta as they they call him, Unique Toys has done Blur as well. Um, I think what was he called Messenger or something like that. Buzzing. He's, uh, it's not speed. Buzzing. Stir, it's not yeah, buzzing. So, yeah, buzzing. Buzzing. Yeah, yeah, buzzing. And I've so, heard good things about that figure. Buzzing. I've heard I've heard okay things about him as well, but yeah. the thing that when I saw all the photos of him, the thing that put me off is that he looked like he was a very sort of a very thin transformer with a very sort of block chest, and I'm seeing the same thing on this sandstorm as well. And it, I, I I don't I don't really like the look, but I also think that it's possible. Well, I I think I think it's possible that um, the figure will be better in hand than it is in these photos. Mm. But going yeah. off, I guess I think what, that this is go, man. Go. going off what right. uh, what you know from provider, like engineering quality and everything else. Is it just the look, the modes, and that are the sort of Pro- provider didn't have this look. Mm. Um, like th- this, this looks is, this looks seems far more basic uh, than providers. Uh, uh, do. I don't I'm know. Gonna, yeah, I'm gonna the G1 model. For Sandstorm was ridiculous. I'm gonna put it half up to them trying to get to that sort of recognition does, from the it, character. It, it that the rear, one look. yeah, the rear of the helicopter should be sitting up above his head like a jester's hat or some stupid thing, which it isn't, which is probably a good thing. But the helicopter was a dumpy little helicopter. Um. I'm not remembering the buggy mode as much, but I definitely know it wasn't that. Um, it does look kind of like it's immersive. Yeah. Uh, I just... The old mode just, just looks like those deep-sea submarines. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you just got to wonder. And I don't know if I linked it somewhere, but the, the hot dog car that yeah, got posted I love, is... I, I, I love that, but I don't have that photo to have. Yeah, I know it was somewhere, but yeah, just that, that car is just a perfect thing. If I had this figure, it would be in helicopter mode because I think that's the best, oh, but the come best on. Look representation look, look, look of look the figure. Blades. Look at the blades. They look ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, but look at that car mode. Look at that <laughs> bot mode. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think it's. A, I think we've the, all. The blades are helpful if you want to travel somewhere, by the sheer force of murder alone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's murder propulsion. <laughs> oh. mm. <laughs> let's move. Let's move on. And this is going to be one hundred and seventy dollars. 
Let's move on. Yeah. Oh yeah, fuck that. Let's pay Sigh. it no mind. Sigh. Now, Brad, you were you were talking about these guys earlier. Now, um, mm. these are the KFC Reflectrons because, you know, if you're going to do if you're going to do uh, third party Transformers, then um, you end up doing the same figures as everyone else. And these guys, so KFC is taking a stab at Reflector because we've seen Make Toys do Reflector, we've seen Fans Toys, I think, do Reflector. Um, we've seen Perfect Effect do Reflector. I have. I'm. I'm quite fond of my um, my uh, TFC Toys Photron Reflector, which is actually mm. a very different take on the on the uh, the figures. But um, yeah, that so, was the first from memory. I'm not, I'm not sure that it was the first. It, it was. It was one of the older ones. One of the early ones. Yeah. Around. But it's also it's also a very different take on the figures. Like it doesn't look mm. like the G1 style. It's a modern camera, so I don't think hey, it yeah, really like, counts. Yeah, like like Hercules, it's a it's a modern modern updating of the original G1 figure. Um, mm, I'm not sure that Hercules which... counts that much, but yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah so yeah, um, yeah. But so 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 KFC has got these reflectors now, uh, these uh, reflectrons. Now, um, you were talking about these before the show, and uh, yeah, we didn't really see these guys. We haven't really seen these guys before, and no. Yeah, I I, I gotta say I quite like them now. One thing I, I can only go. I can only go. Ko fans toys <laughs> spotter. They have. They're very. But no, I think they're quite different to spotter. I, I. I'm actually not really sure how big these guys are. Doesn't. Yeah, doesn't seem that, to say. Um, they don't. They don't look big. Like if you if you look at the if you look at the energon cubes now. Yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna zip through. Oh no, I'm not. Um. So we we oh, if you scroll way down. Yeah, so, so, so just on, on the Energon cubes, we've seen a photo today. So the the cubes are actually kind of cool. Um, there's so there's you can see in the this photo here. There's this the Energon stack. There's a straight up Energon cube, and there's another one that's got an angular wave in it, which is designed to look like it's being drunk. Um, and there's a photograph that's come out of. Um, uh, one of the KFC transistor repaints holding this up to his mouth and like it's kind of the size of his head and if you look at the scale here these guys heads are way smaller than these um, things so mm. they don't, I don't think they're def- I don't think they're masterpiece size but they are little, if you scroll little down, guys so yeah if you scroll down mm. a bit you can see them uh, in the thread it's got one of them's holding uh, MP laser beak and it's also they got all three of them next to a polyon. I might have just pinched the share. Um, this this is fans toy spotter with the energon cube. The the, the mine. Um, yeah. You haven't you Are haven't you pinched s- the share yet. Okay. So right, there it's just, so, it's just so I, and, sharing. That's right. That's right. Let's let's find them. Let's find them in here. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, that's that's interesting. If you go to my shop there. go to my my feed, click right, you're can on. you click up click on my feed? You're on. Um, oh, I gotta do something now. Yeah, you need to make those photos bigger. What hell is it? Can you see that? Nope. Nope. I, don't know I can see it. I don't know. Do I? I don't know what happened. Uh, now, um, we're looking at you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's the wrong bit. Okay. Well, anyway, look. Let, let's 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 there. get back to it. So, um, that work. So I think. Hmm. But anyway, the, the cubes are size. Yeah. It fits in the chest. So. If these, if there's the same these size cube, yeah, yeah these, if, these guys aren't that big. Now, just to get back to this one, now, um, Max, you were saying that uh, there's a, there's one with MP Laserbeak. I don't think that's MP Laserbeak. Oh wow! No, but, no that that's MP Laserbeak. It's because there's an eBay seller that's putting up heaps of these unpainted ones at the moment. Mm, okay. Really cheap. Is it the mold though? Yeah, it's the same mold. Actually, that might wow. be the um, that might be the year of the goat one. Mm. Anyway, look, yeah. So look, they're not. I, I, I think it's go, pretty clear they're not that big. If you go a few photos down from that, they're, they're um next to Polyon as well. 
really. I haven't seen. Is that is that in the prototypes? Here? Yeah, there we oh, go. Okay, so there. I yeah, so they're about the same size spotter. The, the yeah. Uh, what is he? Uh, these are pretty cute. I like them. They're bigger than Bumblebee. Um, they're almost Datsun size. So yeah. I I I I, I quite like them. <clears throat> I Since, so I've been, I've, I've been yeah, a little bit scale seems about KFC. right. Yeah. yeah, no, that that does seem about right. I've been a little bit wary of KFC. Um, yeah. since I got the uh, the um, Mugen scope perceptor, but here's a couple of years ago, and I think their engineering quality has definitely gone up since then. Mm. So, yeah, um, I don't know. I might be tempted to give these a shot. Do we have a price on them? No, I've got I've got their Magnus, and I'm I'm quite happy with the engineering and plastic quality on that. Um, did we discuss the Energon cubes? Yes, the fact, we did. The fact that they're drinkable. Yes, we did. Well, I Love talked it. about. I meant to do yeah, anyway. That's all right. Are, are, the, are the cubes going to are the cubes uh, going to be available uh, separately? The no one knows. With it, okay. The price. picture with it. Let's let's hope. No, nobody knows. That's okay. All right. All right. Uh, for pricing, Good. they're one hundred and twenty US dollars. That's not Each? bad. That for the Each whole set. That'd be a set. That'd be a set. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. tempted to go for that. Well, now, just, spoilers, 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 so, so just, just to go back, just go back to the question That's about cube bad. sizes. Those cubes definitely do not fit in the chest. That was a different cube we were no. looking at before. Yeah. They right, might be slightly smaller. Yeah, might be slightly smaller and spotter. Mm. It's with the tripod. It looks like they're taking a leaf out of Perfect Effects book because uh, the um the tripod. Uh, for the camera converts it to a mini gun. Do you mean the flash? <laughs> the isn't, isn't that isn't that the flash, not a tripod? This is... Oh, I see. I see. There is a tripod there. It's just oh, tiny. Yeah. It's tiny. Yeah. In that photo. <laughs> Why? What is what is it? There tripod. Because it's a camera. Yeah. There it the is. The camera looks kind of crap. Yeah. All right. It's a, it's a, it's it's a, it's a very. I think the camera is very uh, true to its G1 roots. I think that's fine. Mm, it's stylized. Yeah. All right. Let's oh, well. let's move on. That is the end of the toy news for tonight. There is a little bit of extra news that's come out this week uh, with uh, the next Transformers movie called Transformers: The Last Night, um, mm. which. Is a, it's a little bit interesting because uh, it's gonna it's gonna start filming in Detroit on uh, June sixth, but um, everyone everyone's saying that the last night is something to do with Optimus Prime. There's a there was a, a sort of a lingering look at Optimus in the uh, in the teaser that was released. I'm actually not entirely. looks. I'm not sold on this logo being a new logo. Um, yeah, I love how now we're starting. That's Each new movie has a different font. <laughs> mm. But, uh, so yeah, I'm, they'll probably change the logo because this does not look. At, it just but, looks like nothing. But, wow, but this, that's a good echo. this this sort of going to um, the first images of Prime we've seen um, look very Cybertronian. Yeah, but they started so filming I wonder. Yeah, I know, but I wonder if I wonder if um, the image of Prime we've seen is of Cybertronian Prime and not what we've seen in the movies currently. Well, um, look, Detroit, Detroit's a run-down city. Cybertron's been at war for years. Yeah, but they've, they've filmed there before. and it's it's Of course you're going to go back there. I don't know why he's got purple eyes, but he's got no... That's not a face mask. That's that's his face. I reckon. Now I'm just like, going to say, right? I, I, I'm just going to say. I think the reason this is not the new Transformers logo is that it looks too much like the Mickey Mouse version of Transformers from a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's, the Mickey, it's but also, the Mickey font. It's, but also, it's this. It's this slide. Production begins June 2016. I don't think this is actually really intended to be. Um, it's not meant to function as a trailer. It's not really meant to function as something that the general public is meant to get excited about. It's meant to be an industry 
Um, yeah, so it's meant to be stirring up interest in in the new movie in the industry. It's like, oh yeah, we're we're starting we're starting to make this movie, and like it just feels like someone sat there in their computer and just gone, just ch- put the logo up, use this font, texture it, and just animate it in, and we're done. And I I don't think it's actually I don't think it's really going to be the actual logo for the movie. Well, I think yeah. the looks like the, someone the pre- something someone made of word art. Yeah, mm-hmm. The preview of Prime shows that they've been working on this for a while already. No, it doesn't. Like, it doesn't. It's a still image. Well, <laughs> it doesn't it's show anything at all. Uh, yeah, but someone's rendered that image. This is correct. Someone has rendered that image. It's just I, <laughs> Look, I don't. I don't think it necessarily means. The image means nothing. All they have to do is give a graphic designer twenty bucks and a nice coffee, and they'll mm-hmm. have it done in an afternoon. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. It, looks re- it looks ready for some murder. Yeah, we're heading into a movie year. If, we're, we're heading into if, a trilogy of movie years. Yeah, if it's not your thing, go and hide in so, your corner. Go, go watch, go watch Megatron's Master Plan or something. Just okay. So some other some other Transformers news. Um, Josh DeHamel has uh, has been confirmed as returning for Transformers last mm. night. Um, Interesting. When was the last time we saw him? Was it was it um, Dark and the Moon? Dark, Dark and the Moon. Moon. Yeah. Yeah. So so he's he's had a movie off. Jo- you know. Yeah. But now Josh got to eat, so he's going to come back and do another Transformers movie. And uh, Tyrese Gibson is uh, also also uh, also apparently, got to eat. <laughs> apparently being considered. The, the news says so. Um, he hungry. Also, yeah, he got he got to eat as well. Got to eat as well. So yeah. I'm just this... I just need I just need some Shire and some oh, uh, Megan Fox. Yep, some oh Shire, God. some Megan Fox, and some confirmation. Yep, that's so bizarre. Continuity, man. Continuity. You want get him back? So do you want yep. current Shire or do you want Shire from five years ago? The Shire I know is from five years ago. I don't yeah. know current. I know bag on head and calling that, but. Someone done that in Big Brother six years ago and hasn't been seen since. So oh. I've, got, I've got no idea what you were just talking about. Someone done a yeah. Big Brother. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Next. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I've got. I, I, that never happened. I do seriously have no idea what happened there. Okay, that is. Um, that is the end of the news. Um, let's. There we go. I, I, I need to. Um, I need to figure out how to eject that person from the. From the you know, <laughs> Where's that dump button? Yeah, there's a, there's a du- there's a dump button somewhere. <laughs> um, and oh, oh no! Oh, no I got <laughs> what just? <laughs> we are entering yeah, Mario Super Mario. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we're back. Um, oh. Hi everyone. You're now you're now looking at us on the video probably. Um, and so the reason you're looking at us is because we are at the end of the podcast and it is time to talk about new acquisitions. So um, I just broke my audio. You, you what? <laughs> was that the only one who saw Jason screen just? No, oh, yeah. no, no, yeah, no, no, no. That, that, that was a thing. Yeah. That was a thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, it's, but it's gone now, so like, let's let's pay it no more mind. Yeah, it, um, Max, you, it went you, a bit. Max, you've actually filled in stuff in the spreadsheet as new acquisitions. I have not, but I do have a couple. Um, tell us, tell us, what have you got? What have you got that's new? Uh, I G one. So um, thanks to Nick Brooker on the group. Um, I managed to get for so he a G one motor master. Mm-hmm. I like this. I like this. As you so, show off your figures, was, as you show off your figures, Brad and I are just like, hmm, yeah. <laughs> we aren't mm. hearing it though. <laughs> yeah, we're not hearing it because your audio is yeah, dropping out. So. Something terrible. Mm. Oh well, okay. Um, yeah, series, <laughs> pretty good, Nick. But um, then. He said, oh, I've got some other stuff for sale here. 20 bug fight and cup. <laughs> Control. Uh, 
Okay. Is, okay. Let's go to broken wheel. But um, right, this is this is this is not working. You turned into a Dalek. <laughs> Woo back. Um, yeah, your, your your voice sounds like you're Dalek, and we're getting about one frame a minute off your video. So, um, okay, it's my not really sure what's going on. <laughs> Maybe try. Just, just okay. let's talk a little. Let's talk a little bit of shop for a minute. Try knocking your video quality down a little bit and see what happens. How do I do that? Uh, there's a <laughs> there's a button up there's a, a thing up the top of your hangout window that has a um, like a signal signal strength and it's labeled a adjust bandwidth usage. Uh, okay. Oh, I, just that. I just I, I just yeah, realized that you're using your iPhone. Yeah, does that not <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't think you can do it on your iPhone, so let's just put it back. There's nothing you can do about that. All right, let let, let let's move on. Um, it's I've just turned <laughs> I've turned video off, so is my audio coming through any better? Yeah, yeah no, it's much better. Clear. Let's go with that. Right. Just 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 tell describe. Us yeah, <laughs> paint a picture if you will. Uh, well, I've got a G1 dogfight. He's blue with a red face. And he Who has guns. Show me. <laughs> I <I'm> just <laughs> turned the video off. That's right. I'll Google it. Brad's actually yeah. trolling his own podcast. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's one of the... I can't even remember what part... Um, what sub-faction he is, but uh, he was a beef deal in a couple of G1 comics, so kind of like the character, and it was $7, so what the hell. And then Cup as well. He's one of the ni- seems to be one of the nicer G1 figures. Um, uh, yeah, good stickers. Uh, I wouldn't say no. Oh, nice, but not <laughs> not one of the best G1 figures. One of the nicer that I own. We'll say that. Yeah. Put it that way. I, I prefer Ryan Pax. He's a lot better coloured. Oh yeah, they did that, didn't they? That was weird. Repaint uh, was. <laughs> <laughs> People complain about repaints. It's been happening yeah. since the beginning. I um, it, it, it has. We know that. And then I got uh, in a trade from Matthew Bilby on the group. I picked up Takara Brainstorm from the Legends line. And mm-hmm. he is he's really nice. Uh, a lot of people have some QC issues with him. Mine's pretty much perfect. Uh, so far, the head joint hasn't exploded. Uh, really well painted, good articulation. Um, you know, I just traded him. I uh, think I just I traded him a Marvel Legend and a deluxe drag strip for it. So hmm, cool. came out pretty well with that. And then the sort of major thing I got this week from Paul Catrullis was the Perfect Effect Reflector set. So that's a really tiny one. They are tiny and they are really nice. Yeah, I, it's like this really small, but they about as dense as a deluxe class figure, and they're packed with accessories and paint and articulation. I've yeah, I've been hunting for these for ages, but couldn't find them for a good price. Mm. And then I was just on the group and he had, he had them up for sixty five shipped. So I was like, thank you. That is a good price, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it back over to me now. Um, so I have been on a quest. It's a it's a, a time honored quest to plug the gaps in my collection from over the years. Um, for me, that's mainly uh, I'm hunting some vinyl tech figures. I am very aware that one of them is worth hundreds of dollars, and I'm not going to get that. Um, but as it stands at the moment, I've acquired a bunch of them, but they're not here yet, so I still have to ship them over from Com Gateway. But there is one that I, I found on the sale in uh, Victoria for an all right price, which is, uh, a, I believe it's sealed. Uh, I believe the box is actually sealed. Um, so <laughs> mint in sealed box, uh, Laser Wave, or the uh, the Binal Wave, Binal Tech, uh, Shock Wave. My nice. God, I've I've forgotten how heavy these things are. <laughs> like, <laughs> that is... <laughs> That is, a, that is a pretty big box, and I've got a few of these shipping over from the States, so I'm a little bit embarrassed about how much it's going to cost me in the postage. Um, yeah, and so what I've decided is that 
there's so we we all know that Binaltex and alternators share the same molds, but Hasbro Hasbro used die cast, uh, Hasbro sort of forewent the die cast in terms in favor of making them plastic. Hasbro also released more alternators than Takara ever released Binaltex, and there were a couple of molds that uh, Takara never ended up using that Hasbro used. So um, these I'm talking about um, cars like Rumble and the the animal version of Ravage. And so I've decided to put all the uh, Binaltex and the alternators side by side. And if there's a version of if there's a version of something that exists uh, in both Binaltech and Alternators, I will go for the Binaltech. But if there's something that doesn't exist on the Binaltech side, I'm going to go for the Alternator. And so with that in mind, uh, we also have a uh, Binaltech, ri- uh, sorry, an Alternator Ricochet here. Never released as a, never released as a Binaltech, but um, he's, a, he's a repaint of, um, uh, he's a, a Super Impreza WRX, so I think he's I was a about repaint. to say, repaint returns of thing. the repaint walls... That's uh, no, Finally, no. so so looking at the looking at the figures though, there's actually a quite quite. I, I never paid any attention to alternators when they were first coming out. There's actually a quite attractive repaint of Hound, which they they already repainted the green Hound as yellow Swindle, mm. and in the alternators line, there's an orange repaint called Roll uh, Roll Cage. Okay. And oh, is that supposed to be <laughs> Roll Bar? Possibly, it might, be, it might be roll bar. I'm not really sure, but um, yeah. So, so this I actually, like I said, I, I never paid any attention to um, never paid any attention to these figures uh, as, when when they were coming out. And so, there's a few things that I've noticed in in their series that they're interesting repaints. And I also noticed that someone someone on eBay, which I'm I'm looking at. Uh, has actually customized. I think they customized Rollbar, or they customized one of the alternators because they were cheaper. Um, but they customized uh, Hound and Swindle and Roll Rollbar or whatever into Trailbreaker. So they they repainted oh, okay. him. And I think they gave him a new head sculpt as well. So I, I'm kind of, I'm looking at that. I'm thinking I might look at getting that. And I think they did an Ironhide and a Ratchet as well. Oh, and wow. <laughs> their pr- their prices for them on eBay are not so bad. So with the with Ironhide and Ratchet, they repainted the the Skyon, which was uh, Skids. And yep. so yeah, it's it's it looks pretty interesting. Um, so just just having a look at the uh, connect- looking at the things on the on the con- on the side of alternators that aren't vinyl text. There's Ricochet. There's Rollbar. Um, there's Swerve, unless you. Unless you sort of, uh, yeah, so Wind Charger was Overdrive, so Swerve didn't really exist on the Binal Tech side, so I might pick up a Swerve. There's a Deceptor Charge, which um, is a sort of a Deceptor conversion of Overdrive. There's actually Camshaft, who is a repaint of Prowl, but that's okay. Uh, there's Mirage, which was actually released first as an alternator, but then went to Binal Tech as Rigi. And then there's also the uh, Rumble and the uh, Animal version of Jaguar. So I've got a few alternators that I'm keeping my eye out for on eBay. If you if you're listening to this and you've got some for sale, <laughs> let let me know. On the Binal Tech side, I'm still looking for blue uh, blue version of Trax and RC. And if someone if someone would like to give me a BT17 Black Convoy instead of me paying about eight hundred dollars for it, that would be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think on that one I may break my rule and I may go for a Nemesis Prime from the alternator from the alternator line in, in order to have a little bit of uh, completeness for that. But uh, yeah, so so I've been collecting some um, I've been collecting some vinyl text and some alternators. I've got a few more I've got a few more interesting things. So uh, I've been getting up very regularly at like two or three a.m. in order to watch eBay for five minutes and see whether or not I can pick things up. Um, I have managed. We've we've sort of we've talked about how much I like the uh, the drift mold and drift and drift and blur sharing the same mold. And I've got the I've got the the proto drift in uh, the Takara Deadlock repaint. And I have managed to secure myself a red shattered glass repaint as well. Um, so I'm I'm pretty happy with that. That's 
that's coming on over. Um, I still have to get my BotCon reflectors over as well. Like the, I've I've been so busy with work, I haven't had a chance to actually do all this stuff yet. But see, there's a growing box full of stuff for me at Com Gateway, and I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful when I ship it over that the value of it doesn't go over a hundred, over a thousand bucks. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't uh, think I've ever been yeah. as interested in bot configs as much as that reflector. So, I'd love to see you get it in hand and show us. I would. I would say. Time. I would say if you prowl around eBay now, um, I purchased mine at 110 US, which considering it's yeah. it's 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 three legends <laughs> figures, it's only worth 60 bucks. <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it it is it is an exclusive video. The prices gone the price has gone up. Like you 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 regularly see them for like 125 or 130 um, mm-hmm. before shipping. But yeah. I have noticed I have noticed this week that there are a couple that are starting to dip below 100. Um, so you 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 know you you might have some luck. Maybe if you look in a week or two, you might see something. You might be you might be lucky enough to see something on eBay. Or if you wait a while, like you know people might sell theirs off. But, yeah, yeah, I'm just wondering what six months is going to bring. It's going yeah, to it's, it's, it's so hard to tell because the BotCon figures this year were actually a little bit rarer than they have been yeah. in the years gone by. Especially, yeah, especially yeah, being know. the last one. So, mm. yeah. I think it's like one guy bought up 40 of those. Uh, uh, yeah, let's not go. Let's, oh, yeah, let's oh, not go oh, that. <laughs> also, also, I do have a BotCon rubber ducky <laughs> coming along oh, as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> and the, the best, the best bit about the rubber ducky, I managed to get it for ten bucks. Oh no, it was no, actually no, it wasn't ten bucks. By the end of it, a few people bid on it in the last minute. I think it went up to like fifteen or something. But and you're um, not a Beast yeah. Wars fan. Let me pull no. out my check. <laughs> no, <laughs> I can write all kinds of numbers on this, Mr. Jason. <laughs> What's it going to take? <laughs> I got no, uh, yeah. So yeah, um, so yeah, yeah. Got, myself, got myself a BotCon rubber ducky. There's a, there is a bunch of stuff that I need to ship over from the states. So, um, I need to get on that this week. Uh, I'm, uh, that's probably going to be um, that's probably going to be uh, the uh, the project for the project Split for the, the ship. weekend. Split the ship. Yeah. <laughs> Don't spend this one. No, see, I I just need I need to actually figure out what's arrived because a lot of a lot of the time you purchase something from eBay, you send it to Com Gateway, and you just get this random message going. Your package from US Merchant has arrived, and I'm like, mm, I don't know which package that is. Yeah, and so I, <laughs> I, I, I I don't actually know how much to value it at, and so I end up I have to go back and I need to correlate what I've purchased, what it's what I paid for it, what it's worth, what the tracking number was, and it's just like oh my god, shoot me now! Someone just someone go over to the states and send it all back to me, to, you know, just bring it back with you. So yeah, that's that's where I'm at with my uh, my acquisitions at the moment. That was a bit long winded. I'm sorry. Not here, hot. I don't forgive you, Jason. That's unacceptable. You should be ashamed uh, of yourself. I've, I, I'm I'm not I'm not giving you anything to make you forgive me either. So mm, too bad. <laughs> All, right. All right. Look, um, we have been going for rather a long time, so I think it's about time we uh, bring bring the podcast to an end. So uh, thank you for listening, uh, especially given that we have run a little bit long and uh, probably a little bit overindulgent in some of, some of our rants. But let's 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 see how we go. Um, you love it. There, I love it. Yeah. What, what's coming up this week? Anyone, anyone got anything interesting coming up? Um, TCA is going to be at Desicon this weekend. Um, if you're in the Melbourne area, come down, say hi. Five dollars to get in. Um, that's on the Saturday, twenty eighth. Uh, we've opened a store in the TCCA buy sell trade group. I've been getting some figures in from overseas. Um, Past masterpieces, some new stuff. We've got some Make Toy stuff coming in. Um, check that out. And, uh, yeah, trying to get Prime finished, but I don't know if I'm going to get him finished in time for next weekend. So <laughs> This is this is true. If you if you turn the light on behind you, there is actually an ominous-looking Optimus Prime chest. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring this I'll, I'll bring it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at that. Yeah. He's uh he's watching over me. Well, well yeah. part of him is. Yeah, I mean, biggest biggest <laughs> thing at the moment is paint. I just gotta get the paint and have the time to paint it properly without smearing it on. So I, I totally understand the problem with time. So yeah. Yeah. But no, it looks it looks good. Um, keep keep going. I want to see the finished yep. product. 
Yeah, it, it will yeah, come can, eventually. It looks a lot more impressive than most of the Optimus Prime cosplays I've seen around the conventions and whatnot. So, yeah, I um <laughs> wait until I see it worn and then see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I um I had some free time today. I've got uh, episode one of the build, or part one of the build, just about ready to launch. So I'll probably do that this week. Um, I think it's a five or six part build, just going through everything involved. So uh, that'll be up on the YouTube channel um, this week, hopefully, if I get time to do it. <laughs> one one man and his quest. For an Optimus Prime costume. <laughs> yes. Yes. One stack of cardboard boxes flat packed, a Stanley knife, <laughs> and a vision. <laughs> and a whole lot of. A bit of vision. And a whole lot of trips to Bunnings Warehouse. What was meant to be quick and easy, cheap and effective, has it's become nearly be 40, of those. <laughs> nearly 40 hours of tinkering. <laughs> <sighs> All right, I think that's yeah. the end of the podcast. You can find us on YouTube, so uh, YouTube, and you can find us on iTunes. Um, please head over, give us a review, um, give us a rating, give us a thumbs up or whatever on YouTube. Um, yeah, and uh, the Transformers Collectors Club Australia website is www.transformerscca.com. So uh, head on over, um, have a look. You'll find a link to the Facebook discussion group, the uh, YouTube channel, the, the Twitter page, which we don't really do that much with, the Buy Sell Trade group, <laughs> and of course... <laughs> And of course, the podcast. Like, you should just give me the Twitter account keys. Actually, I will. Yeah, yeah, I'll give it to you. And um, don't, don't be surprised when you see it start tweeting about Eurovision. <laughs> Look, if you uh, if you need a hand with Twitter, I spend way too much time on there. So, I'll I'll, I'll, just, I'll just point out my my best ever tweet was uh, I, I actually ripped this out of the group. It was the the image that was the uh, the who wore it better, Lady Gaga or Blitzwing. Um, that, why, are you cre- <laughs> why are you caressing a dinosaur? I've glued it back together. <laughs> that is so random. <laughs> so yeah, you know, my my favorite tweet is the uh, or my best tweet is the uh, the Lady Gaga Blitzwing tweet. So you know, there's uh, there's there's plenty of Transformers stuff on Twitter. Actually, there's a lot of good there's a lot of good people, and it's a really good fandom on Twitter. So yeah, get out there and get involved in it. If you don't, I will. I'll, I'll take the, I'll take it by force. <laughs> Just... I, th- I, I, I think I think the I think the uh, the, the representation of uh, the representation of Brad as a dinosaur might indicate that he's not very comfortable on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I think that is that is it. We're gonna okay. We're definitely ending the podcast. One night, you. Brad's gotten out his dinosaurs, and um, I'm hoping that. I'm going to stop the broadcast. Ah. Goodbye. Goodbye. And uh, until until next week, stop doing that. (laughs) Good night, all.